friends, in this video we are going to learn about something called symmetry. You may have heard this word before. Symmetry is talked about in a lot of different subjects such as math, science, and art. So let's get started. First, what is symmetry? To keep it simple, symmetry is when something is the same on both sides. So all of these shapes here have a line going right through the middle of them to show that on one side and the other side, it's the same. Now, to help you figure out if something is symmetrical, what you do is you add a line of symmetry. So what is a line, line of symmetry? The line of symmetry is an imaginary line that goes right down the middle of something that is symmetrical. It is helpful to use because this line of symmetry can be used to pretend to fold something in half and if it matches up exactly, you know it's symmetrical. So if this butterfly could fold its wings on the line of symmetry, they would match up exactly. Now, to help us better understand what symmetry is, let's take a look at something that doesn't have symmetry. So on the left over here, we have our line of symmetry going right down the middle of this shape. And we know that this side is exactly the same to this side. We can just look and see with our eyes. But let's take a look at this one over here. Here's the line, line of symmetry right in the middle. And on this side, we have this shape going on. And the other side is a completely different shape. So if we folded this on the line of symmetry, these two sides would not match up. So this is something called asymmetrical or asymmetric, which does not have symmetry. So symmetry is everywhere. Let's start taking a look. Symmetry is often found in art. Artists like to use symmetry in their artwork because it is pleasing to the human eye and artists want people to look at their artwork and enjoy looking at it. So you can see that this artwork has symmetry, right? There's two dragons on both sides. If we folded this in half, it would match up exactly. Here's another type of artwork. You might say, this doesn't look like an artwork. This looks like a building, but it's called architecture and architecture is a form of art. This building is beautifully designed. This is actually called the Taj Mahal, which is in India. And the person who designed this made it so that both sides were equal, symmetrical. So it looks really nice when you're there in person or looking at it at a picture. Here's another artwork, a photograph that is symmetrical. Both these flamingos on both sides, if we folded this in half, they would match up perfectly. Now let's take a look at this artwork. This is a painting by George O'Keefe. Now let's examine this because there's some things in this artwork that are symmetrical and there's some things that would not make it symmetrical. This skull right in the middle has the line of symmetry. If we fold it in half, it would match up perfectly. But I noticed something on this side that's not on this side, right? This flower. So technically, I couldn't say that this whole artwork is symmetrical, but I could say that the deer skull or the animal skull is symmetrical, meaning that one part of the artwork is symmetrical, but not the whole artwork. Same with this artwork. If we were to fold this in half, I'm not sure if it would match up exactly, right? The fish's head would match up with the fish's tail, right? That's not symmetrical. So this artwork would not be symmetrical. Symmetry is also found in nature. Let's take a look at some examples. This starfish, this beautiful detailed leaf, right? So we can see that symmetry is found a lot of places in the world. So now that you've learned about symmetry, you can start looking for it in your everyday life. Before we conclude this video, let's do a little bit of review. So what is symmetry? Symmetry, to keep it simple, is when something is the same on both sides. It equally matches up. Now, what is a line of symmetry? A line of symmetry is an imaginary line that we draw right in the middle of an object or an image to help us determine if something is symmetrical. So if I were to fold this butterfly in half, or it's to fold its wings in half right on the line of symmetry and they match up equally, we know that it's symmetrical. And before we leave today, let's learn what is not symmetry just to help us. 
So on both sides equal, that is symmetrical. Something that's not symmetrical, also called asymmetric or asymmetrical, is when one side is different than the other. And if we were to fold this on the line of symmetry, they would not match up. Right? So this was just a quick intro to symmetry. Uh, thank you for watching. And start looking for things in your world that have symmetry.